okay, remember that they are changing my voice. If you were a political dissident or a Jewish person or anyone in the camp uh, in Nazi Germany, would you accept the argument that one day things are going to get better? They just are doing it to create a Nazi world. Then they'll let you out to some kind of second-rate citizen, what have you. And so it is with somebody who is a Nazi in the party. They shouldn't want those ill-gotten gains. So it is with the modern-day person, rich or otherwise. Okay, the problem-solution game they're playing, I promise you, does not allow for a decent future, a future in which somebody who is actually human, with humanity intact, who's actually a humane person, a sane person, a rational, a logical person, it doesn't allow for them to have a life worth living. As it says in the Bible, their sins are piled to the heavens. They built the new world order on rape, murder, child molestation, drugging, and all sorts of other forms of injustice. They have no viable counter-argument, and as usual when it comes to the pinnacle of manning up, standing firm for what is right, discussing what is right, they are tail-tucked instead of debating me. Tail-tucked. Scrambling to try to rig a debate or avoiding the debate altogether. Is that what mas masculinity is? Is that what manhood is? Is that what being respectable is? No, no, and no.